Hey everyone, so in this video I just want to quickly show you how to properly debug the code um, because as I see from most of the like beginner developers are making this mistake that um, they are trying to debug the code by putting multiple print statements or console log lines which which can be applicable for some cases but generally speaking it's not a way of debug because you don't see what's happening behind the scenes you are not like going through the execution of code and in real life applications basically you can't use this method you can just put multiple console log lines or print statements and expect to find the bug or implement some new feature so in this video i just want to show you like very simple version of how to debug a code um, for this video I'm going to use VS Code, but I'm sure the same functionality is available for other code editors as well, like a Pytron or something else. But I just want to show you like general concept of proper debugging. Right, so let's start. I have some Python file currently opened in VS Code and as you see we have some functions there and so we can um, so let's say we want to debug this file so what beginner developers making mistake is they are putting print statements under this um, under this uh, code snippets like after running some function um, holding the value inside a variable and printing the variable uh, something like that and it's not like um, the it's not like good solution to see what's the actual value inside it because uh, every time you need to run the code and it basically takes like wastes a lot of time and it's not efficient so the proper way of debugging in this case goes like that in VS code we have a section named run and debug so let's click it and inside there you will see that create launch.json file and after you click it, the VS Code automatically detects the uh, the programming language currently you are working on. For me, it's Python. Like for JavaScript, the different configurations, um, the bar configurations will appear there. Like for React, for Angular, okay. You see, for Python, we have Django, Fast API, and so on. So for me, it's like pure Python file. So I will select that one. So it automatically generated some configuration file for me. And from this configuration file, it's just saying that, okay, the name is current file, as you can see from here, you can change it, let's say, Python main, for example, you see it will change here as well. And yet the type is Python, request launch, and program is the current file that I navigated, which is going to be main, like the active tab in the VS Code, okay. And the console integrated terminal, okay, so that's not important, and this one as well. Uh, if you set, for example, just my code false, it will just go internal libraries, but that is not the concept of this video, so let's skip it. Um, so that's it. So after you created launch.json, navigate to your file that you want to debug. And you see when I hover these lines, you see that the red dot, which means breakpoints. So I will, so I will put some breakpoint here and yeah, okay. So that means that the code execution will stop in that lines. You will see how in a second. So after you set the breakpoints, you can click to that play button and the debugger will start to execute the, uh, execute the function like main and then it will go through this and stop in the breakpoint. You see the yellow highlighted part is currently um, the, uh, the part where execution stopped. So we have number one and number two. So if I hover it to these variables, you can see them, you can see their values. And also you can see from these tabs, you see locals, we have values there. And you can actually add some, um, um, add some var variable names here to like watch the value change over time. This is for much more complex code executions. Like you want to detect where specific event happening, change happening. So you're adding a watch. Let's for example, write some result. 
so currently that is name error because there is no such thing but if I click step over you see here which means go one step forward you see the result is updated and when I hover the sum result variable I can see the value here as well also locals updated you see you basically you have like read inside what's happening behind the scenes um, the another thing I want to show you is um, for example, we don't have any breakpoints for multiply numbers function, right? Not red dots. But I just want to go inside this function. So what you need to do is not like step over because it will go to this line, print statement line. But I want to go inside this function. So I will click um, this step into. You see, it will go to this function. And again, I have to click like step over to go one line. Uh, forward and if I uh, hover the result I can see that it's 50 for example let's click one more time and yeah it will um, stop in our last breakpoint and yeah basically that's it that is the like proper debugging of the code and of course there are like multiple um, you, know, you see in real world applications the configurations file is not that simple but I will explain it in the next video because I don't want to make uh, the videos too long. Just a quick, uh, quick show, like showcase to how it happens, how debugging happens. Uh, but yeah, I will show the next step in the next. Um, I will show like um, more information in the next video. But basically, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.